Oh, cute. It looks like I'm trapped in a Nintendo game. Anytime now, son. Please go away. Hey everyone, you're watching Cutie Crafts. Today I'll be showing you how I made this 3D printer bead Nintendo Switch picture frame. Some of you have asked me to make Perler Beat Nintendo Switch sprites for a long time, but I thought I'd take it to the next level and turn it into this functioning photo holder that holds a four by six inch photograph. This project isn't too hard, and if you recreate this, don't forget to tag me at CutieCraft so I can see it. And without further ado, let's get started with the video. First off, the bead colors I used are black, coral red, turquoise, and dark gray. You can change the colors up to green and pink if you like Splatoon, or whatever pair of colors you think look good together. I used two pegboards to make this, and I got this 4x6 inch landscape picture to get an idea of how big the frame needed to be. Then using black beads, I placed the beads around the photo to make a rectangle that is just slightly smaller than the photo itself. After that, I put a layer of dark grey beads around the black beads. Then I used red as the right controller, and blue for the left. This is the main frame, and you can pause the video to copy it down. It should be able to fit a 4x6 inch picture perfectly, and once you finish that, it's time to iron. First, I covered all the beads with some painter's tape, and I flipped everything over. This allows me to reposition some of the beads before I start ironing so that they will fuse together properly. Then I placed my parchment paper on top, and with my iron set at number 3, I ironed away making sure that all the beads are bolded onto the paper. Next, I flipped it over and peeled off all the tape. Once I ironed the other side, I left a heavy book on top to keep everything flat. This is what the piece should look like after cooling down, and I made a second piece that's exactly the same. Here's the pattern for the middle piece that will go in between those last two pieces. Just pause the video again to copy. Ironing this piece was a bit tricky. You'll just need to make sure all the beads on that line of gray beads are touching before you iron. Other than that, now we can glue all of these pieces together. While the glue dried, I used some clips to keep the pieces from moving. We're almost done here. This is just the main structure of the frame, but now it's time to add the buttons to the controllers using some mini beads. I used a circular mini bead pegboard that I got online to make the small ABXY, home, and direction buttons, as well as the larger thumbsticks. Then I made these buttons using a square pegboard, and to iron them, I usually just set my iron at 1, since the beads melt so quickly at such a low heat. Now with all the buttons done, it's time to glue once more, and I used clear glue so that I could move the buttons around until they were in the right position. Alright, we're done making the Nintendo Switch now, and I'm almost done this voiceover. My throat is honestly so dry, I think you can kind of hear it in my voice now. Anyway, to put the picture inside the frame, you just slide it in like this, and make sure that it's in between those two outer pieces, and that's it. That's the Nintendo Switch frame. If you want to, you can put another picture on the other side, and also put the buttons on the controllers so that you'll have a double-sided switch frame. But I think I'll just keep this on my amiibo shelf so one side is enough. 
You could also use this as a photo storage since there's a lot of space in between those two outer pieces that allows you to put at least 10 more layers of photos. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed watching me make this Nintendo Switch picture frame out of perro beads. If you're new here, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and I'll see you guys next time with another cutie craft. Bye.